I'm Merv Dumplin. You know, I love you guys. You guys are great. I, I appreciate you guys. You know what I'm talking about? So you know what I'm gonna do? This 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 set, this comedy that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna defecate this to you guys because I, I appreciate you guys. So uh, you know what? Um, you know I, I like I like hair pulling, you know, and I like spanking and choking the kids that I babysit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, I just found out. I didn't know this. I didn't know this, but uh, you know, HIV, AIDS, you know, in, in like uh, semen, you know, semen can have, HIV can be infected with AIDS. I didn't know that. And then uh, the semen, like, uh, if, if it is infected, if it does have HIV, if it has AIDS, then the baby will get AIDS. You know that? I didn't know that. That's, that's I mean, that's terrible. That's too bad. But uh, now that I know that, you know, because I, I babysit, you know, little babies all the time. I've been doing that for a long time, babysitting little babies. But now that I know that, I'm going to stop feeding the, the babies other people's semen, you know. I can still, I can feed them my semen because uh, <laughs> cause I, don't, I don't have AIDS, so I, I won't get them infected. But, you know, I'll feed them my semen, but not, not other people's semen, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm a good babysitter. So, uh, you know, you ever go outside and you try and throw something up in the air, like as high as you can throw it, you know? It's fun, right? You go outside and just, just to see how high you can throw something, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, well, I'm sure you guys do that. Well, uh, I've, I've found that uh, it makes a big difference. You know, it's, it, it depend, totally depends on what it is you're throwing up there, you know, how high you can throw it, you know? Like, I've found that uh, when, it, when it, makes, it makes a big difference, I've found that uh, depending on if it's, a, you know, a one-year-old baby or a newborn baby, it's a big difference, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, too soon? Sorry about that. Uh, well, you know, uh, uh, there's two men, two fellas who uh, are going to get married. They're going to have a gay gay uh, wedding, you know, and they wanted to have me be their wedding planner, you know what I mean? I said, okay, I'll be your wedding planner for these two guys, who two fellas getting married. So you know what What I'm thinking, what, how, what should I do, what would be appropriate? So I'm thinking, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, have, have them dressed up like uh, Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble. You know what I mean? That's that's what I thought would be a good idea, right? Because that way, when they when they take their vows, instead of saying "I do," they can say "Yabba Dabba Do." <laughs> yeah, and then the, then they could have a gay old time. But uh, <laughs> you know, I uh, I had my ex-girlfriend. I I dumped my girlfriend. You know what I mean? Because uh, well, let me tell you about my girlfriend. She's my ex-girlfriend now. But uh, I met her. You know how I met her? She uh. I went to buy a donkey. I wanted to buy, yeah, buy, buy myself a donkey. And so I went to, there's a whole bunch of donkeys to choose from, you know. And, you know, I wanted to buy, wanted to d decide which one I was going to buy. And, uh, you know, the difference, by the way, uh, a donkey is a domesticated ass. And an ass is a wild donkey. Do y'all know that? And, uh, you know, I like them wild, so I had to go for the ass. But I was trying to choose which one to choose which one that I wanted to get, and that's when I met my, my girlfriend, you know. Well, she's my ex-girlfriend now, but that's when we first met, you know. So that's when we first met. Yeah, and um, so that's when I let her pick my ass. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, she... Uh, she I, I, I had I knew that you know he, her and me weren't gonna work out because you know she would just get mad at me all the time she'd just get mad for no good reason like for example her mom her mother got me a job you know I was un unemployed and her mom got me a job gave hired me to uh, operate this uh, leaf blower machine you know that blows leaves you know you know you know what I mean those leaf blower things well she she hired me she gave me a job to to use one of those. And I was really thankful because I needed a job and I really appreciated her giving a job, you know, her mother giving me a job. So I told my girlfriend, hey, uh, hey, tell your mom thanks for giving me a blow job. And uh, she was real mad at me for that. I don't know why. You know, it made no sense to me. But yeah, so I knew it wasn't going to work out between me and my girlfriend, so I dumped her. The real reason I dumped her was because she was so dumb. You know, I ain't that smart myself, but she's just totally too dumb for me. She's real dumb. Like, uh, we were watching this show, uh, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? We were watching that show together, and there was this uh, first grade math question, you know, what's nine times two? And my girlfriend's so stupid, you know, she's dumb. She thought it was like 19 or 18 or something like that. She's stupid, you know? I mean, nine times two, that's 99. I mean, it's a nine, another nine, that's two of them, so nine, nine, 99. That's easy, I can do that. You know, but my girlfriend is just stupid, so I dumped her. So, hey, hey, ladies, I'm single, so come talk to me. I'm available. 
<laughs> All right. And uh, just uh, one or two more things. Uh, you ever get gas? You know, you, you have gas in public, you got to fart, and you're, you're in public, and you have gas, you know, it, it can be kind of embarrassing. Well, you know what I think you should do, what I could recommend if you have gas? Uh, you should uh, get, uh, climb onto a shopping cart. You know, climb in onto a shopping cart and point yourself in a direction and uh, and become a human human fart rocket. You know what I mean? That's what that's what I recommend. And uh, another thing I recommend is like if you show up late for work and there. Okay, one last one. If you show up late for work and people are asking, you know, what's your excuse for being late to work? A lot of people people make up an excuse like, uh, you know, oh I had to help an old lady cross the road. I had to let. Uh, had to help a kid with his homework or something. Well, I, th I say you should just be honest. Just tell them what the, what the real reason is, you know? Like, if you ask me, what's your excuse for being late? I'll just say it was because my butt plug was stuck. You know what I mean? So I say just be honest, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm Merv Dumplin', and uh, my website is MervDumplin.com. Thanks, everybody. I hope, I hope you guys like my defecations.